Japanese macabre, the forest. The forests of Japan are home to macabre breed of beast known as Japanese macaques. These primitives, these primates have been famous for their gruesome habits. These monkeys routinely kill gruesome and consume animals that they scavenge from the dead or dying. And while some might find this kind of behavior tame by American standards in Japan, it's considered highly barbaric. It was just after sunset I arrived in the, at the forest preserve in which the macaques lived. The humid air was filled with scent of rotting vegetation and decaying animal carcasses. I've been warned not to go in out during daylight hours, but I was determined to see these strange creatures up close. On reaching the edge of the forest, I stopped dead in my tracks. I, what, what lay before me, dozens of Japanese cracks were butchering an impala carcass mere yards from where I stood. The meat had already began to rot and emit a nauseating smell. The monkeys weren't deterred by any smells or sights that would have most people recall in terror. In fact, they appeared to revel in their vile activities. What kind of creatures are these? I thought to myself as I watched one monkey start eating, tearing chunks out of the bleeding animals. Animal or another munched on raw liver. Japanese cats, so muttered under my breath. It must be where those videos online came from. The cute little monkeys eating human flesh. I thought as more memories rushed back into my disturbed mind at the time my family caught in such a forest as this, searching the habits of Japanese macaques, who, when reserved as written in my father's journal, were most human likely. Like in many ways with arguments in the groups and with great episodes of extreme violence. This was his last entry. Weeks after my father's and mother's bodies were found, headless and half eaten. From that day I vowed to avenge this event. And that is why I'm in this wet, stinking forest, keeping as quiet as I humanly can. I went into the troop of Japanese quacks, rested in trees of the forest, and then gathered at all the explosives and carefully packed in my rat sack. I placed the explosives on the trees and put in the wires to connect the detonated plunger. I stood with it in my hand, ready to press, and I screamed a, a bit of mas- manic hysteria. This is for my father and mother's death. You reap what you sow. A mighty explosions were echoed through the forest. Mass of Japanese macaque bodies parts were spilled all over the forest floor. I managed to find a head and place that in my rat sack. I survived explosions while running out the area of the forest I had placed explosives. I decided to make my way back when I sensed of being followed. I could not see my stalker, so I started to run again, as my life may depend on it. Suddenly at the trees came a group of young Japanese macaques. I must have missed. They surrounded me. I had no means to escape. I tried to fight them off. There were too many of being, uh, being bitten and beaten till I ended up on the forest floor, awaiting my fate. One of the Japanese macaques, who must have been the leader of the troop, took my right sack and unzipped it open. He revealed my horrible trophy. He held it in the air and the others bowed as a mark of respect. The last thing my conscious mind remembered was seeing the succession of rocks smashed upon my skull. Years later, my bones were found by a group of searchers. My head was missing. That was sitting on a pike, smashed beyond recognition of who I was.